people always ask me, you know, how do you get great skin? They always want to know. And it's not just what you put on the outside, it's yeah. what you put on the inside. It's super important. I suppose for you as a makeup artist as well, someone with good skin is a better it's a great canvas. canvas. Yeah. 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 So we're starting here because people what? might think, oh, I bet it's all that fancy schmancy stuff all the A-listers have. Yeah, well, yeah, they, they always get this wrong. Yeah. You just need simple ingredients. You know, it's like the coconut oil. I say this because um, your body digests it really quickly. You can use it as a cleanser, you can use it on the face. Um, and, you know, it's great moisturiser. Lemon, look, we all know you can do multitude of things with lemon. It's great for alkaline. And um, you've got the ginger, eggs bind everything together, flaxseed, great, all the omegas you need, a bit of a nutty taste, throw it onto salads. So this juices. is just to show, this is not kind of crazy ingredients we haven't no, heard of. No, everyone can get this. Things... These are the same things that you would recommend people should have on hand if they want to eat better and look better by doing Yeah. I mean, of course, you also you've got the spinach, and that's, like, full of iron. It's the Popeye of the, mm. yes. of the vegetables, you know? So what are you actually going to make us? You're going to cook okay. some food, and it's all good for our skin. Yeah, so, so basically... These, everything is good for your skin. I've just given you really simple, easy recipes so you can do it, you know? These are my suggestions. And now, this is all in your book, Eat Beautiful. So this is how to eat yourself beautiful. So, basically... Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, this is like a brightening, a skin brightener. And um, it's a wheat-free pancake. Now, I live in the States a lot, and they love to um, have sweet things mm -hmm. in the morning. I'm not a massive fan... I do like a pancake in the morning. Yeah, but these so what are, these are the, this buckwheat and um, and uh, sorry, I'm just trying to make this yeah. pretty. <laughs> um, um, buckwheat and um, and but coconut. Buckwheat and getting coconut. Yeah, sorry, oh, coconut. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing this at the same time. Yeah. Come stick with me, guys. <laughs> Two things at once. Yeah, you know. I'm That's like Ruth. She can never do. So this is about coconut flour. Yeah, and yeah. you put a date in it, and that makes it super, super sweet. So why don't you guys try this? Where do you put the date? In, the, in with a mixture of the uh, pancake. Your pancake okay. mixture. And that'll make it really sweet. So try that, I've never guys. Had buckwheat. I keep seeing these pancakes. And yeah. Those. Right. But you carry on with your next one. Then. OK, so this is the in exfoliator. This is just a really, really simple dish. This is not about cooking. Eamon, you could do this. No, I don't know if you're a cook. Seriously. You... <laughs> Seriously. OK, this is just leaves. Yes. So, um, and people always skimp on the leaves. Hey, you know what? These are all goofy. They're full of water, mm -hmm. minerals. This is like a, a really traditional kind of Italian kind of feel. Is that rocket? Or... Yeah, it's just yeah. rocket. Loads of rocket. Put some fresh basil in there. It smells lovely. So, does Victoria Beckham eat this kind of stuff? Have you taught your, all the your celebs that you work with I mean, to cook as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do their makeup, mm. and you know they all have to eat healthy. We're on off for planes all the time. Mm. If you get sick, that's it, guys. Mm. You've had it. You can't not turn up for an event. You can't phone in and go. You know yeah. what? I don't feel well today. Yeah. That's, it doesn't happen. I mean, you guys know that's that, me right? Me today. <laughs> Ruth, not Ruth. Well. Well, I'm not well. I told no, you I wasn't I've well. Got the throat. I've, I've got, got the throat, throat as well. But it's anyway, I've right. turned up. <laughs> You've turned up. You're here. This is a bit messy. This is a burrata, because um, normally I do this at home and I don't have to worry about anything. Like burrata. This. Why is that different to mozzarella? Um, it's it's slightly creamier. Yeah. Now these. Is that low fat then? Yeah, and yeah. I, I, I'm not a big fan of cheese, mm. but um, this I like because it's not very cheesy. Yeah. Um, this is good, like, it, it will move things through the system. So if you've got any toxins, it will take them straight through the system really quickly. So I'm just going to put... Sorry, well, she's just dug right it. in. No, sorry. Finished. I'm, OK, right. Um, I'm just in gonna, your dressing? Just olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. Just really... That. That takes no time. So whenever you're in a rush, that's a really easy thing to do. And I cook... Um, everything's for the summer season. So what's important is this grows now. So this is when you should be eating it. So you do see you're very much in favour of seasonal food. Yeah. And not, yeah. yeah. Because what do the figs do? What the do figs, they do they'll, they'll take toxins through the body. If you're a bit regular, sluggish... Yeah, okay. Okay. Get you regular. <laughs> That's the nice right. way of putting it. <laughs> and then we're moving on to um, wheat-free pita, trying to keep it healthy. And I've done, like, um, a Moroccan kind of uh, chicken with halloumi. I mean, me and Eamon had that conversation before about halloumi. 
This well, is just... He doesn't like it. No, well, well, we were saying how I discovered it yeah. during the summer holiday and how our son loves he it. Does. Mm. So I'm just going to stack this up. So why is this good for our skin? What well, it's the alpha alpha, and this is what normal people would know as mustard and cress. Yeah. Yeah. But it's much more earthy and it's not got that mustardy taste yes. to it. And so what, the whole uh, thing about this is, as you say, it's a two-pronged approach from you. You can do the cosmetics on the outside, but this is really helping you with the canvas that you're working with. Yeah, and you know what? It keeps you healthy. What does yeah. alfalfa do for your skin? Um, this is good for the blood sugar levels. So you know what? When we're having a bit of a moody day, yeah, um, <laughs> no, maybe I, a yeah, never. maybe a good chance to um, try that out. Okay, so and you're not going to. Oh, sorry, this tzatziki. This is just cucumber, yogurt, mint. Okay. So what you're saying is you're not going to spike sugar-wise with this. You're not going to no. go up in mood and no. down in mood. And you can put this in anything. You put it in juices. You put it on in salads. It's a really easy thing to eat. I'll tell you what. It's very fresh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really quite earthy, but I like Blending. things like that. Yeah. Mm. It's feel, like, I imagine good. if you were a cow, life would taste like this. You would just <laughs> grass and clover. I mean, I hope not. And <laughs> buttercups and things would taste like this. Uh, well, it's lovely talking to you. Thank you, Wendy. Wendy. Thank you very much. Wendy's new book, Eat Beautiful. Eat Beautiful. Is out now, OK? Thank, Thank you, you very guys. much. Thank you. Appreciate that.